Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are gathered here in the sight of God and his people to witness and to bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy marriage. This is an honorable estate which God himself has instituted and blessed, and by which he gives us a picture of the very communion of Christ and his bride, the Church. God has both established and sanctified marriage and has promised to bless therein all who trust and love in Him and who seek to give Him their faithful worship and service for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. The union of husband and wife and heart, body and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, when it is God's will for the procreation or the raising of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered to in advisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. In Genesis, we hear these words, God's words. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the air. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them and whatever the man called each living creature. That was its name. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken from the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of the man. For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. And the scripture we talked about, is it okay if I share it with them? From Ephesians. Submit to one another out of reverence to Christ. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, as the Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the Savior. So now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, Love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy. Now, I don't get more than an hour, right, for the sermon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to share with you what wonderful people in my This word submit, we men all know that means all under, right? No, it doesn't. And if any of you think he does, listen carefully. 
St. Paul wasn't just a pretty saint who walked around with a halo over his head. He was a home builder. It says so right in the Bible. He built tents. Tents in those days were very complicated things. Not like we have them when we go to the beach and throw up something for an hour. These were highly engineered structures, homes. The word St. Paul uses here in the original Greek is used in that language only in the home building trait. So let's restate this scripture. Wives, support your husbands. Husbands, support your wives. This book was written by a Jew, by the way. That's what St. Paul was, you know. And the Jewish position of prayer in that time was holding the hands up in a position of support. Exactly. I think the scriptures are saying to you, pray for your husband. And it's what he's saying to all the wives in the room. Pray for your husband. And husbands, pray for your wives. And so, oh, I owe you another 55 minutes. <laughs> but I think it's enough if you carry that away. One more comment. We all watched another wedding this week, didn't we? I was telling Carmen earlier that uh, it was the opinion of me and another fellow who was watching, and a lady who was watching with us, that you came out better than the guy who came out. Well, uh, he's a bit more handsome than you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're ever bit as pretty as the Duchess, in my opinion. Now, the fellow that delivered that sermon preached a bit longer than I shall tonight. But after all, he was a bishop, and he has to do that. And after all, he had them seated, and he could do that. But he said one thing right off the top that crossed my mind as being terribly important. He said, where mastery enters in, love flies out the window. And that goes along with this holding each other up in prayer so well. Neither one of you try to change the other one. <coughs> you don't try to dominate. You love them as they are. Give them a little space and trust and grow together. That too is part of holding each other up in prayer. Amen. And I'll have to owe you the other 50 minutes. <laughs> Now, here we have some important questions. From, will you have Candy to be your wife, to live with her in holy marriage according to the word of God? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, pray for her, keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be husband to her as long as you both shall bear. If you do, say I will. I will. Thank you. Will you have Thurman to be your husband? To live with him in holy marriage according to the word of God. Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, pray for him? And keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others. Be wife to him as long as you both shall bear. If so, say I will. I will. Now, I have some words to repeat after me. I, Furman. I, Furman. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Candy. Take you, Candy. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. 
to love and to cherish until death parts us. To love and to cherish until death parts us. And I pledge you my faithfulness. Is it for you? I can be. I can be. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you from him to be my husband. Take you from him. Be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold until this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. Until death parts us. And I pledge you my faithfulness. And I pledge you my faithfulness. With the rings. And you place a ring on her hand, saying, Receive this ring as a pledge and token of wedded love and faithfulness. And you place the ring on his hand. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a pledge and token. As a pledge and token. Of wedded love and faithfulness. Grant your blessing, O Lord, to your servants Candy and Furman, that they may be ever mindful of their solemn pledge and trusting in your mercy, abound evermore in love all their days through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now that Candy and Furman have consented together in holy marriage, have given themselves to each other by their solemn pledges, and have declared the same before God and these witnesses, I pronounce them to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. The Almighty and gracious God abundantly grant you his favor and sanctify you and bless you with the blessing given our first parents in paradise, that you may please him in both body and soul and live together in holy love until your life end. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, everlasting God, our Heavenly Father, grant that by your blessing, Furman and Candy may live together according to your word and promise. Strengthen them in faithfulness and love toward one another. Sustain and defend them in all trial and temptation. Help them to live in faith toward you in the communion of your holy church and in loving service to each other that they may ever enjoy your heavenly blessing through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, our dwelling place in all generations, look with favor upon the homes of our land Embrace all husbands and wives, parents and children in the arms of your love. Bless our homes that they may be ever a shelter for the defenseless, a bulwark for the tempted, a resting place for the weary, and a foretaste of our eternal home with you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. I would invite everyone here who knows the Lord's Prayer to join with me now as we pray that together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The eternal God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, grant you his spirit, be with you, and richly bless you, now and forevermore. Amen. May I present to all of you the married couple. <laughs>